Hey there, I'm Tanya Wilson, and if you're new around here, I'm a life and business coach, and I help women coaches and service-based business owners step into their personal power, grow and scale their businesses, all while creating lifestyles that they love. Listen, around here, we create businesses that fund your lifestyle, not run your lifestyle. Why you need a niche. Now, I know there's this dynamic that is surfacing around the internet streets that says you don't need a niche to start your business. And I agree, there are times and seasons in your business where you just need to start because we can have all the excuses. I need a website. I, I haven't figured out my niche. All the things that keep us from actually moving forward in our business. But if you're looking to go to the next level and if you want to do some things quicker, sooner and faster, you need a niche. And I'm going to talk about why you need a niche today. Why defining. So first and foremost, having a niche helps potential clients identify if your products and services are ideal for them. There are people on the internet who are looking and searching for what it is that they need. And when you've defined a specific lane that talks about what you do and who you do it for, it makes it easier for potential customers to identify that what you have is what they need. It also helps you to establish a loyal client base when they know that this is where I can go to receive the information I need for the specific problem that I have, for the solution that I need, you begin finding people that are loyal to your brand. Having a niche differentiates you from other people who are in your industry as a life coach, as a health coach, as a realtor, whatever it is that you do, having a niche helps to differentiate you from all of the other people who are in your same industry. It helps to reduce your marketing efforts and the cost that it takes you to market. So if you have not defined a niche, and I hear this a lot when I'm working with clients, when we initially start the process and I'm asking them, who's your target audience? Who's your target market? Many of them will say or have said, I service everybody. So they may be a realtor and they're like, I service anybody who wants to buy a home. Uh, they could be a life coach. They may say, I help anyone who needs life coaching. Well, when you are kind of undecided, when you haven't niched out, that means you have to market to a lot of people. That means that your efforts towards your marketing are even more difficult because you haven't defined who you are speaking to, let alone if you are running ads or paying for marketing, you're going to have to market more, which is going to be more costly as it relates to your ads. Defining a niche will help to reduce the efforts that you put in marketing and also the cost. Now, earlier when I started, I talked about how it helps to differentiate you and attract loyal clients and customers, but it helps you to do it quicker, sooner, faster, because they can hear, right? Your messages that are aligned with what it is that they need. They can hear in your content that this person has what it is that I need. So the process where it may have been taking you a really long time to get consistent clients or consistent customers for your business, they can't hear you. They can't hear you. So I'm gonna break it down. So maybe you're a life coach. What type of life coach are you? I have a client in particular who came to me who had several different things that she could start her business with as it related to coaching. But as we began to define what would really work for her as a space of niching out, we realized she wasn't just a health coach. So a huge part of what she naturally did, what she actually had gotten results in in her life was in the area of fitness. I hope this is making sense. And so oftentimes your niece is attached to something that you've already done, that you've gotten results in. And many people make the grave mistake of wanting to be really broad and wanting to be a coach in an arena 
that is really broad and teach really knowledgeable things, but not necessarily things that they've gotten results in. Once you begin defining your niche, you get clients quicker, sooner, faster. If you're a realtor, this is probably one that's gonna catch you. I have clients who are realtors, but if you are a realtor, yes, we know in the state that you live in, you can sell homes to anyone, but are you a realtor who sells luxury homes? Are you a realtor that works with people who are looking for investment property? Now, I know defining a niche may feel like it you're leaving money on the table. They feel like you're cutting your chances off of people who are not necessarily in your niche that you probably are able to help, avoiding having services with you. Now, we're not going to talk about the mindset that that's coming from. I have many videos that talk about uh, the mindset that is behind your pricing, the way you build your business, and your services. If I can think of one in particular, I'll attach it in the comments of this video but what i will say is when you are spread out all over the place it just simply takes longer for people your ideal people to hear you and what's so beautiful about it even when you choose a lane if you begin operating in your gifts in an exceptional way people even outside of what who you said you actually serve will begin to come and do business with you. So another reason, in addition to the ones that I've shared, that choosing a niche is going to be beneficial to you is because it's going to help you to also stand out as the expert in your industry, in your field, in whatever it is that you are doing. You're going to begin to be seen as the expert. Now, this is just a bonus here about niching out, right? Because not only is this helping the client to you know, define that you are the person that's ideal to help them with their problem or you have their solutions, but you also begin to master a specific area. I have a video where I talk about how I became a life and a business coach, and it goes into a little more detail about why I chose a particular niche, although I had the ability to help and service many industries. Now, as time has moved on, I help more industries, but if you're starting out or if you're not seeing consistency in your business, it's very ideal for you to choose a niche, to really double down on a niche so that your process can happen quicker, sooner, faster. Now, those are some reasons why it's important for you to have a niche. If you have a niche, put that in the comments. If you're uncertain, like what, a niche even is put that in the comments too let me know um, maybe we can talk in the comments about moving that forward but if you're a life coach a realtor a health coach you do some type of service that you offer to a person you're a service-based business owner even a hairstylist right and so under your styling license you can do tons of things but if you begin to define a specific niche you will build quicker, sooner, faster. Listen, do you have a niche?